Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tenerza Human, and welcome back to a Kamar Union campaign. You join me outside of Danzig, which last time we, of course, took off the poles. And, well, with a pretty large stack of Imperials ready to back us up, I think we got there just in time. It's one of the cities, of course, we need for the Hanseatic League, but it also gives us a foothold. Today, we probably want to move on to Marienburg, but it looks like the poles have got a few troops to throw at us yet. So we probably need to get another spy out in good time. Uh, unfortunately, they don't have it in here yet, so I'll have to get working on that. But I do want to go and mop up if these troops over here with a battered force from the earlier engagement, the Imperials. So i am just sent our second I general over here, so. who's uh, obviously the land we've got for battles. We're trying to try and train him up in war. I'm going to send him off to go and take on the Poles. Hopefully, that will make our life a little bit easier. And then we want to go and approach the Teutonic Order. Um, on which note, we do, of course, have Cecile I'm over here, our young princess. From the happy dog, she's an intelligent and attractive young lady, so we want to train her up a little bit more. Hopefully, snipe off a good husband for her. So, I wanted a little bit of a chat with these lads. Um, now, Alliance well, apparently it is generous now. This has changed around, doesn't it? Okay, well, maybe we'll work with that. I'm not sure how much we can extort for them for this particular alliance, but that's balance. We will just try and we'll make it a little bit. Close to start off with, let's say 1702. Let's see what they think about that. They accept that. Okay, marvelous. Uh, Alliance announced. Trait increases, gain more charm, diplomatic ability. Well done, Cecile. And we've improved our relations to very good. Marvelous. I think they saw that as on the generous side. So there we are, 18. She's up to four already. If you can just kill that dog, we'll be fine. She gets to 32, but the dog sort of passed away by then. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we can let the dog live, but I don't. I like the bigger dogs, not the yappy little ones. Oh well, it's fine. She's doing well nonetheless. We'll keep yeah. sending her in this direction, albeit we probably should just take the boat. Uh, and likewise, Mr. Diplomat, you can head over to the Teutonic Order. You can act as a sort of sort of spy. Yes. And we could probably do with you swinging over here, please. Ooh. <laughs> oh yes, this uh, this isn't. This is looking interesting, isn't it? You probably should get these into one big stack because at the moment um, they are just going to yeah smash straight through all of you if you're separated. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I feel like that should. We should honour the alliance. Yes, indeed. Uh, Lithuania, hopefully you can just hold them off for a while. We will snipe off all of the Teutons in good time. I mean, what I was going to do before I noticed the alliance was up for grabs there was um, actually honor, offer to Lord. attack the Teutonic Order. I think you have 15 turns you're expected to do it uh, when you make that offer, so uh, it probably will be within that much, but I'm not ready to do it just yet. So, Imperials, we'll just give them a quick bribe, just a couple hundred just to keep things happy. Lovely, outstanding, not quite perfect, but things are doing pretty well with them. Just keep them on side as things go forward. I keep on looking around as if they're going to kill me, but of course with the diplomacy bug sorted out, Things are much better. The bit of the to touch of bribing here or there is keeping our relations incredibly high. Now, in general, we've got a little bit of money, obviously, thanks to that uh, little bit of diplomacy. But, uh, oh yes, of course, we've got to upgrade first. That's going to be a bit slow. Yeah, in general, it's pretty much going to be time to end our turn, actually. We seem to have building projects going on around all the different towns, apart from over at the capital. So we'll get that built. A spy will jump on the boat next Sorry. turn. And we'll send him over to the east. Right, let's head into battle. I've already pushed them back, so this should not be too much of a problem. In terms of Cav, they only have six of the Polish retainers. Love it. Polish, of course. Um, what have they got then? They are very interesting little troops, the Polish lads, but nothing too interesting. They've got the Shostrzyszy. No idea how you're supposed to pronounce those. I'm not fluent in Polish, you may have guessed. Uh, but there's only a few stragglers left around. We'll be able to shoot them down. I've got to get in quick though in my cav. Because they do have these ballista and different siege works. Alright, let's get in. And let's go take up some poles. Alright, they have just burned down a few horses as we get ourselves set. So I think it's probably time just to get our infantry over to one side. Cavalry, just start running around them. I will just get the scouts to run, uh, well, right around the back. And everyone else... Um, just charge in, to be honest, just charge in. If we can get someone around to pick off the 
siege equipment. That'd be lovely, but actually they seem to just be turning their backs on us. So we'll charge him. We'll see what damage we can do over here. This force needs to just get in a little bit closer. Maybe use that tree as the edge of our position. Marvellous stuff. Pull yourselves back. We want some proper charges. You're just distracting them all whilst we get our infantry into position. Now, siege equipment. The battle is very much in our Not doing table. too much. Where are the, the, uh, the scouts? They're around the back there. Okay. Just want to pick people off if I get the opportunity to. And... Get yourselves lined up for another charge into the crossbow militia, please. And actually, if the war, war, the Norse, Wars, Wars, Norse, Horse, Norse War clerics would like to uh, enjoy this little maneuver, that would be magnificent. Yeah, smash the enemy. Woo! Okay, um, shots coming in from those that you know what? I don't think infantry just all infantry just start running in. It's not. Um, yeah, it's not even a case of uh, hanging around. They've got siege equipment, and we need to... Oof, Steve there got shot down. Uh, Cav, come out to the back here. Come hit the trebuchets, keep them busy. Infantry are going to run straight into them here. As we scramble our way towards the siege equipment, I think it's time to whack the enemy. There we go, big axe in their head. Good work, good work. Charge into those lads. Uh, yep, yeah, going well over here. We've got the trebuchet taken care of. That is what we like to see. Come on, chaps. Pull back out of there. You kept them busy, but you don't want to get in, in a fight for too long. Our men have there we go. The enemy, enemy, general enemy general is down, no, and the fire carrier is doing well. Let's just see what's happening through these dead. trees. General has lost a fair few troops, it must be said, but on the whole, we seem to be pushing them away. Fine. Uh, what are we doing? I think, to be honest, this is largely a mop-up job by the looks of it. So I'm just going to tell these... Yeah, these fellows can do that. And you can swing back into them. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Right. Let's just flaunt our brutal axes at them. They'll keep running. All be grand. It does seem like... I don't even know who's really fighting anymore. I'm pretty sure they're all just running away or being chopped down Only at this point. Half, the enemy force remain. half of them remain. Okay, there's some Hellbreds over there. Can I get all of my missiles to go and work on them? Dismounted Huskulls. Engage with them as well. And... Yeah, Scouts. Just start getting around the back of them. That will suit me. Now... Looks like, General, you need to start helping us pick up some of these other troops. Some of the Axemen are running off in that direction. The Norse War Clerics are currently shopping through. Plenty of blows to the head with their magnificent, magnificent maces. Right, and uh, just my Huskulls, Archers, and yeah, you guys all stop. That'll be fine. Got some shots in just as we hit them. Yeah, there we go. We must pursue and hunt them down. Pursue them, hunt them down, and wallop them over the head. Yes. Right. Uh, yeah, well, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Uh, good little job here. 13% lost. Not seen many. A few hit by rogue on just shots, but on the whole, good bit of work. Yes, Valden Marl of Hatsund over there. Did a good job. 59 men lost, not too many. Mostly the cav, to be fair, but we did have to rush in because of their... Uh, siege equipment. So, uh, a bit of experience then for the Norse War Clerics, as ever. Good bit of work from them, although we did lose most of that unit, unfortunately. But, job done. Gain no honor by hiding now, 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 now. Prisoners captured. What do we want to do? You know, I'm quite happy oh, to release yes, them. Please. They're pretty trashy, all things considered. To release them, we'll give him the chivalry, because he could do with some extra chivalry. Hopefully, that will help. No, it just feels appreciated. But yeah, he did actually go up to two there anyway. It respects the enemy and feels appreciated. Marvellous. So that makes you a little bit better. Had a little bit of battle experience. You lost a few of your troops, but nothing too extreme. Ooh. Ooh, we could go in for one more. Are we going to be overstretching ourselves? Because I don't know what's over here. I don't know, but I think it's going to be worth it just to have a little poke. He doesn't want to do it. 
Uh, but it looks like, yes, we have overstretched ourselves. We're on a bridge, though. So, uh, yes, we'll see about that next time, I suppose, uh, on the next turn. But for now, though, I think it's time for you to head back to the port. And we will, uh, hmm, yeah, maybe get some spear militia next turn when we have some money again. Betrayal for Cecile, but honestly, he is not interesting at all. No, 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 no. A gift from the council, a bit of money. That is always helpful. Hostilities cease between the Holy Roman Empire and the Teutonic Order. Okay, that's fine for the moment. I'm not particularly interested in that. Danzig has itself a priest, which is not a bad thing because they were fairly pagan here, or surprisingly pagan anyway. So we'll just have you float around. Go, you know, have a nice beach holiday. I hear this is a particularly beautiful part of the world. So go and enjoy that. Now, oh yes, all the Levitanners being built up. That's good to see. That's good to see. Getting the infrastructure sorted. And new family member for Tokashigyasen. And, oh, you've got some guard dog, which suggests... Well, it's just like a floof, but it might suggest there's an assassin around. I don't think that's going to be the case, but... Never know. Never know. It doesn't look like anything's happening with those guys. No armies floating around, so I feel a little bit happier about that. And yes, oh, it's your child. Oh, good old burger. Um, nothing particularly interesting with you. You're a bit ignorant. You're probably my least favourite of our chaps, but oh well, we'll have to settle for it. Let's get some Norse archers in, because we are a bit short on that. And it wouldn't be bad to have those. We can always spread them out as a defensive force around the odd castle and town. And if yeah, Visby looks like it needs to have something new. Yes, a warehouse would be a good investment. But that was all of our money, so be careful about that. Now, Ponindar, they are floating around. I think I'm going to pull back, at least to this bridge, for the time being anyway. I'm just going to send most of our forces over there. I will, however, send some of the damaged forces back to the town. We can probably actually do a tiny bit of mixing up there. Marvellous work. And, yeah, if we can just stand on this bridge for the moment, any any battle that does ensue, we can at least have full command over. So I probably want to keep most of these with me a bit. I will send the Norse clerics back. And in general, this will be fine for the time being. We need a couple of units in here, which is why that warehouse is going to have to wait. Um, oh, okay, we can't actually recruit them anyway. But I probably should just save up the money, I think. But the Imperials are around, so we might find they help us out with this war in good time. Just want to make sure there's um, we haven't got any bad relationships going on. The poor with them, very good with, the, with these two, which is... Grand Pwned are terrible, but they're quite reliable. Everyone's got a pretty reliable reputation right now, apart from the Mongols, of course. Who everybody hates. I thought they had an alliance for a short time. Um, sure maybe I'm mistaken. Or, or they broke it immediately. That's much more likely, I imagine. So elsewhere, we're probably just largely saving up our money for our turn or two. Although we will get our spy over to the east. Maybe we'll just land over here. What's this? This is Windal. Um, only one unit. That's very tempting if it is a bit uh, a bit isolated. We'll have to see about that. Now Riga. Riga, Riga, Riga. And he, he died. Brilliant. We could really do with getting a spy in there, but at least we have a diplomat. Now Cecile, Cecile, Cecile. If you put over here. Um, oh, there's no one to marry. Let's have a little look, see if we can do a bit of scouting. I am that sure is I will have their full attention. no suitors apparently, but Please do not ask the impossible. Um, all right, she can't get there because it's uh, of course a boat. I get there. Oh, calm your so and so's lady. Um, yeah, you have a boat. You actually yeah. have a boat, so you can get there that way. What um, do you require? Anyway, for one time. <laughs> oh, these Danish girls are all so brutal and harsh. Oh, they sure they should be I more like Sandy Tomsvig and just attention. funny. Alas, is the only Danish person I can think of apart from footballers. And uh, I'll be honest, Nicholas Bentner is not someone I plan for. Ooh, Tortvilas Tort the Chivalrous. I like... Oh, he's 46. He's not bad, though. If you're a bit younger, you would be perfect. I think I've gone for you before, but I, th I believe that would be Ingrid right at the start of the game. Um, she really needs to stop talking at this point. 
Uh, oh, another one over there. He's not terrible. 21. I don't know. I don't know. You keep on talking. Um, I suggest you stop because it's interrupting my brain. You know what? We'll just send her across Eastern Europe and we might find something to do. The only thing to bear in mind is we do have a few different you different chaps uh, here or there the and some of them may or may not be married sure up so I will consider that ah my forces are attacked by the Teutonic Order uh, are we not being pulled in because of Novgorod it seems like we are actually being attacked we are defeated which is uh, a bit of a shame but it's just a scout boat that's all that was that's a very interesting one indeed okay um, so betrayal for Cecile uh, he's not really good enough for that, is he? He's sexually liberated, which is lovely for her, maybe, perhaps. But uh, no, no, not going for you, I'm afraid, Thorkel. Not at all. Uh, Thieves Guild in Danzig, no. Uh, Abo, yes, well, we did, did just get smashed, so we'll go and do that, but okay. So we have war between the Teutonic Order and Denmark. At least solidifies our alliance somewhat, because... Uh, yeah, we are now... <laughs> We're now at the war with them. And, uh, yeah, we have fought together, which is actually quite a big boost for your diplomacy. I'm surprised at how much of a big boost it is. But it is a significant fight alongside your ally. But you have to do it quite a lot in order to normally maintain your relationship. So, well, Stonewall at Danzig. Um, of course, we do have our army over here, ready to come and put Marienburg under siege. So, we will go and do that, of course. I will send... The rest of the healthy troops to go and assist. Don't think they've got enough around here to really cause us problems, but I will at least get myself a few more of these ships I could do with it. Now I do have some more forces ready to go over here. I might actually, I'm actually going to send all of them. Uh, good plan, I think. Let's get all of them over here and send them over to Damzig. That would be good. Yes, yeah, swivel one down there, and we should be fine. I did see some of their some of the Teutonic ships around, but I've lost sight of them right now. So to just slightly be wary about what we have in terms of our fleet, but we should be able to get across nice and easily. Even the honourable. Uh, wow, he is doing magnificently, isn't he? This is the, yeah, fantastic work over here, Edmund the Honourable. Um, he's the chap who, of course, is married to Ingrid, so up plus two authority. Now, I suppose, obviously, you're not the faction heir, but she'd be second in line, so it depends on um, the way the tree works. Because at the moment, uh, Faction Air, yeah, he has Thorkel and Bjorg over here are his heirs. So we've got Prince Christopher and then it'll be this chap here, Thorkel, presumably. But we do, of course, have uh, Emin the Honourable. So he could actually be the heir if this chap, Thorkel, doesn't make it or uh, accidentally meets with death. That's an interesting one. Uh, we'll have to see how this goes, because, yeah, Ed, he's turned out to be a magnificent chap, hasn't he? Um, seven on the chivalry. Now, what I'd want to do with him, what we mean to do, is send him from town to town just to help with the public growth rate. Oh, plus 7.5! I mean, frankly, everyone just loves this honourable, sexy, sexy man so much that they're all just having lots and lots of children. It's a magnificent thing. All right, get yourself a market there, sir. And yeah, Ingrid can come have a little tour of the empire. And yeah, very nice, very nice. We can get all sorts of population growth around the empire because we're really trying to focus on chivalry. I do generally like a bit of uh, a bit of the old dread, but I'm trying to avoid it on this particular occasion. I'm going to be playing as very much the good guys here. So we'll be playing as chivalrous Danes, going across making good, healthy trade around the empire. So that's what we'll do. Over in Hasselheim, though, I wouldn't mind getting just a couple units as just general backup, so we've got a couple things ready to go. That was a large town ready to upgrade. I'm going to assume that was Kalmar. Yes, it was indeed. Okay. Bear that in mind. Next turn, that one's ready to go. King Eric is getting on a bit. Population's only 6,000 there, but um, I'll just turn down the tax rate just to pump that up a tiny bit more. 
So Marion Berg, Marion Berg is under siege. They've got dismounted uh, Rita Bluda over here. I do enjoy those slightly ridiculous helmets. Um, <laughs> can't say I know enough about these chaps to know how realistic some of these were, but I would suggest probably slightly over the top um, for every unit to be having them. But there we go. And a load of the Livonian uh, auxiliaries who are obviously quite demonic, especially if we're attacking a citadel. Um, that could be a hard nut to crack, actually. We need to be careful about that when we go in. We need lots and lots of ladders. And ooh, how are we going to chop them down? Sammy Axman, enough of them will be able to do the job. But yeah, that's going to be a, a deadly battle. But if we can take that... We're in a very strong position because then we can at least train our own troops. Right now we're relying on mercenaries and I haven't actually seen any around. So, slight problem in that. Now, I'm quite happy for the Imperials to carry on going down south, go to Poznan. Yeah, that's Poznan. Um, they're welcome to go take that if they say we... Oh, they already have. They already have. So, um, that's fine by me. I'm not too interested in Thorn. Um, but... Might not be a bad idea to eat slightly inland here. I don't really want to get towards the Mongols. I just want to just want to keep the diplomacy simple on that front. So we're getting that warehouse in. That'll be worth huge amounts of trade. Otherwise, things are sticking along nicely. Everywhere's happy. We've got growth rates everywhere. We've got good chivalrous peeps. And uh, I must say, by the way, before Abo decides to attack us, I had already decided to get a few troops here to prep an invasion. So, um. Can't afford a longboat, but uh, I can't find a dragon boat, but I can get a longboat, so we'll get one of those. And yeah, I was just getting a little force to come over and take that. They must have read my mind. I think what provoked it, to be fair, was I went to go and have a little nose around and up blocking their boats in the uh, in the little straits or whatever, and then uh, the Novgorodi turned up as well. I think it annoyed them a little bit. Merchant Guild in Danzig, that's what we like to see get those started up. Um, yeah, Danzig, of course should start to get us some good points towards the old uh, Hanseatic League. So Merchant Cavalry Militia, honestly not particularly good, but they exist. Uh, more than anything else, useful just as a city to get some cav and many riding things down, to be fair. Oh, they've got some reinforcements in, which is a bit worrying, because if they send reinforcements, then I might need to start cracking into this town now. Having said that, they are just Battle little forces of one each. So, I might continue the siege, Honor get a bit more equipment. We march and... Yes, if we carry on with the, the equipment, that's probably a good idea. A bit, let's have a little bit less towers and a bit more on the ladders, because of course we need to get through several layers, don't we? So, in the same report, we're doing terribly as ever, apparently. But, 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 but we do have our reinforcements coming in. Just in case, we will send our boats over there. In fact, let's just get them all together. So the reinforcements are coming. Danzig should be in a good position, but I'm just going to send my general... Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Well done, Prince. So, Prince Christopher's got that sorted. He probably should be the one leading this attack. I'm not sure why he's not, but now we can't make it across the bridge. So we'll have to figure that one out in a turn or two. Unfortunately, the army, yeah, our fleets can't actually escort that force across because they've blockaded us. Let's go and take them out. Perfect. That gives us a tiny bit more time to get some crossbowmen. Nothing particularly special, but something at the very least. Now, Akashis, you were getting some troops for us, weren't you? If you start sending them towards Uppsala, we'll be able to eventually send those over to help with the Abo attack, because we need some proper infantry for that bout. And in general, I'm quite happy to leave those as they are. We probably don't... You know what? We can probably afford to send that unit as well. That's good to see. Skara is now growing very quickly. The market will help that too. But I wouldn't mind starting to get some of these tax rates up because we've got low tax rates around a lot of our towns. It's starting to hurt our economy a bit because we've got a lot of troops. A lot of troops and too many towns where we've got nice tax rates. So let's work up the tax rate. Very high. That was on the lower tax rate for all of one turn, I believe. Everyone's going to get very high tax rates. And unfortunately, that's possibly going to hit our chivalry. But if we don't have it on too long, 
we should be fine but we could do a little bit more cash flow in the short term another underwhelming option for Cecile over there annoying that she just did a little bit more diplomacy but didn't gain anything for it and we blockaded our we keep on getting so many Norse war clerics however we could go and send them over to help with the job so one of you sirs over there and yeah you head up north join the forces from Visby now do we want him yeah we probably do want him to come join this force himself so let's take all of that Visby is happy enough for now we will get one more spin militia actually I think that's a good plan and where can you drop them off there is safe enough for now. I don't have enough dominance of the sea to leave them standing around like melons. So we'll go and do that. We'll leave the fleet together here. Be nice and safe in there. And that will work for us for now. We can hook up with these and head over to Abo in good time. That is marvellous. On which note Cecile is on her way. We'll just see if we pass any strapping young lads on route. Palanga has been taken back by Lithuania, which is unfortunate I for uh, sure the Imperials, and maybe unfortunate for me. I wouldn't mind adventure. having it, but I think that won't be a problem longer With term. Pleasure. Won't worry about Lithuania spent to last turn. Tomorrow. We'll go have a little chat with the Imperials in a moment or two. Yeah, they are tomorrow, stacking up their reinforcements. My Lord. So, I think it would be a good plan to start getting my troops as close as All possible. So, if I send my army over Hold to on. there, Let's try and get... Are they going to be able to make that? Can't quite see. Yes, they can. Perfect. Three more, and if I need three more, I think I'm going to need chunky infantry. I don't need any more cav, that's for sure. Although, four experienced Norse war clerics could be very helpful. So, I tell you what, archers will help, because we'll get onto that final wall and we'll shoot them down. So, we'll get two archers... They can stand hand to hand anyway. Norse war clerics for their experience and fight with us. So the citadel is well. We'll keep sieging it for the moment, but we're getting there with that. We're getting there. I will leave the catapult behind. I'm not too worried about that. I wouldn't mind to get a little bit more militia just to um, yeah, just to fill up the free units uh, upkeep ranks. Marvelous. So a few more crossbow militia. Um, fleets wandering around, no units on them, so I'm not too worried about that. This fleet over here, what do I actually want them to do? I'm just going to send one boat just to scout this area and make sure... I think the Imperials should keep us safe over here. But we'll just keep Admiral John and Admiral Halastan to look after the western half of the Baltic. Now, this half I'm less strong with, but I wouldn't mind making sure that I've got boats just to escort people across so one can go there and probably to be honest with you could do a training more let's get another long boat and these two these two what do i want them to do you know what they can go attack because we can fight alongside the novgorods and cement our alliance further that's good and we're going besiege or blockade from Berg for now. Teutonic order, abysmal. Well, on this occasion, you attacked me, so sold you. Uh, over here, we are likely to win this. We should probably try and flee while we can. So flee up to the north. I possibly could have engaged them, but no, that wouldn't have gone well for me. My dear allies, indeed, indeed, indeed. Yet another underwhelming suitor. And no, you will not be having my daughter either. Thank you very much. Oh, they've, for some reason, ran away. I was going to say, we're going to have an epic, epic siege here at the Citadel uh, as we assault it at the takeout men outside. But no, they seem to have given up on it, which is odd. Um, very odd indeed. Okay. I, I think we'll have a chat to them after this and just see uh, what they have to say. Skara has a market faction announcement. Noble we'll like, oh, hack on. Ah, oh, the Norwegian king who we usurped. He is now dead. He died where he lived. It really made no difference to his life. Um, he just had a bit less stress, so he lived a nice, ripe old age. Ah, oh, what a sad time for him. Now, uh, Emma the Honourable has become tax farmer. Well, that's fine. You do need to tax the farmers. 
and otherwise no it's just time to head into battle over here and Marienburg yes indeed it is so we'll get these on the boat over to there we can't get too much further so we'll just wander onto that island for now that should leave us within striking distance going forward but there are more troops over here I should probably keep them just in case we get attacked you are still slightly crooked <laughs> oh you've not done too well for me have you well it's not a problem and what's happened to my other merchant being countered why are they not doing well these two? Oh well I haven't really taken enough care with them if I'm honest I could send them over to go and snipe people but I'm not sure we're good enough to do that oh well time to head to Marienburg then we have ourselves lots and lots of equipment we have a pretty solid army 10 to 9 on power these are elite troops compared to us. They're much more heavily armoured and these crossbowmen are pretty brutal. But they are lacking a general. They're lacking any cav, which I suppose in the Citadel isn't too important. They can help just skitting forces around. You can catch them before they flip back deeper inside the walls. So Citadel, three sets of walls. Um, but we have so much infantry, we should be fine at actually working our way through them. It might be a bloody affair, but we're going to win. Let's go. In case you've forgotten how ridiculous these citadels are to tonic order, they actually have moats around vast amounts of it. So I can't get any of my towers into this at all. I have to just head into this tiny little area here. So they pack their forces on this position. I'm the end of my deployment area over here. So yeah, this is this is fun. This is going to be an absolute bloodbath. They are all in this little first area though. Probably best what to do is use my normal troops there, but then I'm going to swing my ladders as much as possible around the sides. So we're just going to try and get those out of the way while the main forces are distracted over here. So if we do that, then we'll at least get around the back of them. That's very much the plan, but it's going to be heavy losses here. It does look like though the towers are busy shooting at the towers and not our ram so that at least means we can get for the door if we can get for the door we can try and take on those other units and hopefully deal with them around from that side but yeah we're gonna have some problems here and by some problems i mean we're gonna get absolutely destroyed so uh yeah i forgot how demonic these things were they're um they do kind of strike me as a much later style of sort of garrison play. I think it's all the red brick, to be honest. It just reminds me of a, a kind of strange uh, prison or garrison kind of thing. Um, yeah, just layers and layers of nonsense all around. Uh, yeah, these are strange, strange things, but I suppose the idea is to have uh, a new and tricky thing to try and defend. Although we have got one of our towers and the ram to the wall, which is slightly bizarre. We don't have any archers, but I'm still a little bit surprised by that. I think the clerics would be good ones to come in and take on the Rida Bruda because at least they are heavy in experience terms. Um, now the Vernian auxiliaries are moving a little bit. Okay, the red work of the butcher. Yes, magnificent accents as ever, doing their good work, doing the good work. We're just getting to run for a short time. Now I wouldn't mind getting some of my units over this end now my cav particularly if you can come over here that would be lovely we'll just get you towards this ram over here although possibly a good idea to bring the other ram with me as well peasant archers grab the ram head in that direction now whilst we have a chance i think we need to grab no the boiling oil hasn't set it on fire. <laughs> interesting, interesting, interesting. We are fine. Uh, it looks like we're about to get up top with these. Which, yes, should start to cause a bit of a uh, bit of melee and a bit of panic. Now, if I can get one of you to head over here, that'd be lovely. And another of you to head over here. We don't actually need all these ladders to go in that way. I probably should have kept some of them back. I'll let the... The brain uh, Danish lands again. Lovely stuff. Come on, our skulls. Uh, get yourself into position. Now, we're going to send in these clerics. In with the with the skulls there. Lovely. And up here, we've just got a huge defeat coming. But the main thing is, we're sending in our slightly more trashy units to distract them. Ah, marvellous. I thought he was going to say their general there, but no, 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 no. 
I'm going to make archers to run over here. They shouldn't be getting shot, I imagine, because they should have these siege towers doing that for them. Uh, oh, towers coming in. Oh, towers coming in. Boulders coming in. And in fact, we'll get all the cav to come in and deal with these chaps. Uh, we are woefully uh, backwards in terms of our equipment for this. But we're going to keep them busy. That is the main thing. You go and hit the, the, uh, the catapult there. How are we doing over here? Losing badly? Oh, probably. Oh no, we actually seem to be doing a good job against the Livonians. I suppose they aren't actually infantry and they are fighting with their backs turned. <laughs> I don't think they know what to do because of this tower. Uh, so they're a bit lost. I imagine we're not doing so hot over here. How are we doing? 39 of you. They're actually bre breaking. Their morale is too low. I think there's too many of us. They don't like it. No, we're getting breaks. This is good. This is good. Piling on in at this point then. Um, there we go. There goes Steve. And with that, we might not have to crack through all of these different layers, actually. We could be in a good position here to just take them all out right now. So let's get let's get these clerics and this general up ahead. Come on, chase them down, chase them down, chase them down. Oh, Cav, chase down these Livonians. They're trying to flee back into their citadel, but no, we should be able to catch them don't think they're going to be able to do it. We'd just be able to get the route and we'll be able to finish it here and now. This could have been a massively bloody affair, but looks like on the whole we're going to be able to do this the simple enough way if my cab can actually chase them down here and do the job to charge at them. That's the battle. We'll carry on for the moment. Keep chopping them down because we're bloodthirsty Danes, of course. But uh, yeah, the battle battle really is done at this point take them off shooting with their arrows and yeah we will we'll exit here because i can see that a few units are already through how we've only lost 121 there i don't know big victory for us the citadel is ours which means we can retrain citadel as well actually we were able to get some fantastic top two units out of this they should not have let us take marienburg oh no i don't think oh actually they're going to be happy a noble way to They're going to be happy, but I could sack victory. it. I could sack it. Now, how many? How much? Wow, it's got a huge population. It's about uh, about sixteen thousand in here. To be honest, it is quite happy, but I'm going to sack anyway. My relations in general aren't doing too bad, um, and a bit of money will certainly do us well. So now we can get dismounted feudal knights, of course, the Norse swordsmen. Uh, Norse Axemen, as well as our semi Axemen, of course. And otherwise, pretty much what we used to, but we do have Bombards as well. Can we get the Svenna yet? I don't think we can, but if we construct the stables, we should be able to. Yeah, there we are, the Svenna. But a 9,600 is not going to be something we do for now. We'll get ourselves some land clearance. That is magnificent. So. So, sir, Valdemar of Hadsunds, you have certainly shown yourself in battle a little bit here. Impressed a few people. We did that as efficiently as I think it was possible to do. So, Novgorod and Lithuania. Lots of people are around to have a chat to. I don't think we need to chat to the Imperials right now. So we'll send uh, Princess on her way. There. No secret love as of yet continuing to go well for us um assuming there's no ambush hopefully we're fine thorn does have a fair few troops in it and i actually i don't mind going further south if it's a citadel i don't kind of want a town on the end of my empire here but a citadel wouldn't be a bad idea actually we could go for thorn we'll see if it bothers us if it doesn't bother us we'll possibly just leave it so as we are back at war with the Teutonic Order, I don't think there's going to be too much of a full ceasefire this time. I think this time it's going to be the full-on smashing of these chaps. But I do need to keep a very close eye on Riga. Whilst they've reinforced it, it is been under constant bombardment, and I would like to have it for myself, of course. So, um, with our ships just fleeing into a little fleet over up in the north, ready to attack Abo, looks like... We have, um, yeah, our plans are starting to come together. Bit of money to spend. Some general um, some general infrastructure improvements can be at last afforded. 
we've spent a lot on our, on, our, on our troops in this particular occasion, so it's nice to finally get some investment back in. But uh, yeah, we'll be looking to get it straight back because I do need to start really pushing on because I want to take some of these before uh, I lose the opportunity. So Riga is the big one. Keep a very close eye on that. But if we can go in and snap up, say, wind out, that will help us because that will give us a good foothold next to Riga and a place to get some reinforcements in. Don't have an awful lot of places to train up and Hasselheim is only a basic castle. So we're going to have to see what we can do about that little problem. But we'll see about that next time, ladies and gentlemen. For now, I will leave you. I am Thomas. This is to the Human. And that was a strangely long pause. This is, <laughs> this is the game of Union campaign. Thank you and goodbye. Death and violence will come to you. This is a beautiful, beautiful town, by the way, guys. Let's go and smash it up. Dum, tum, ti, 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 ti. How did you die? What is happening to my men? Steve! He was the one man who tried!